All right, Middle Age Boy Guy Reacts back again today with another video for you. And in today's video, we got to do something for the Filipino homies out there. So I got some easy mill for you. All right. Um, I just went to his page and I picked one of the first ones on his video lists. And this is Strength off the Resonances EP. So I guess without further ado, without a ton of fanfare, let's get right into this reaction. These guys in right here. Take a sip of coffee and we're ready to go. <coughs> All right. Let's do it. Come on, Easy. What you got for us today? Oh, hold on. Something going on with my headphones here. Give me a second. I think the connections were good. Hold on. That's better. Okay, there we go. We're all set now. I like the guitar already. I like that like nice mellow guitar right there, acoustic. Yeah, that sounds really nice. Not necessarily the beat that I would uh, expect from him though, from what I've heard. Inside the resonance of your love, you resurrect my resting soul, you shine no. from above. Okay. Okay. So this, first of all, this beat is not what I expected from him. This is all instrumental. You know, you can hear the drums coming in and the acoustic guitar. It's, it's different. It's, it's definitely something I did not expect. Um, they have the, 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 uh, the lyrics on the screen. I, I prefer not having the lyrics. Um, cause I feel like it takes me out of like listening and actually hearing the words. It just ends up me reading. Um, so I'm going to try not to, but I, you know, when, when they're right in front of you, you can't really help yourself. Uh, so let's go back and, and hear how this starts again. I reside inside the resonance of your love. You resurrect my resting soul. You shine from above. I resume to consume the fumes you left on my clothes. The residue of your smells by let me do the most of resolution and a little confusion. To what length will I be willing to pursue someone who removes so much of my strength? Ooh. Their head. Oh. <laughs> All right. So this is like a... um. Uh, for lack of a better term, a love song, I'm assuming. Um, so he's talking about some woman that either he has just met or that is an acquaintance or a friend of his. And like when she's around, like the smell of her is kind of intoxicating and like, you know, it, it stays on his clothes and he'll go home and he, you know, even though she might not be there, he could still smell her. All right. And yeah, we, we've all been there. We've all been there. Um, and then hold on. Let me see what he said right here. Cause this is, I wanted to comment on this. Hold on. Someone who removes so much of my strength. To what lengths will I be willing to pursue someone who removes so much of my strength? All right. So, you know, being around this woman is making him vulnerable. Okay. He, he can feel his feelings developing and, and he knows that she is a weakness to him. And that this is a, this is a young man's mindset. This is absolutely a young man's mindset. Um, because honestly, uh, a good partner, uh, while yes, can take away some of your strength per se, uh, cause it makes you vulnerable and, and weak to them. Um, the two of you combined though, it's, it's a force multiplier. All right. If you have a good relationship, you will eventually become more powerful together than what you can be, uh, separately and on your own. So that is definitely the worries of a young man um, being vulnerable to a woman. Will I be willing to pursue someone who removes so much of my strength? <laughs> there had been a moment where I wished every black card that passed me was actually the BMW. <laughs> obsessive or rather overly. Oh my God, we've been there, man. We have been there, you know, like. You see a similar car to the girl that you like or somebody that you just started dating or, or, or you know, even sometimes an ex-girlfriend or something. You see a similar car and every one of them that passes, you're like, is that her? Is that her? Is that her? You know, that's that's funny. Like I said, this is definitely 
coming from uh, the experiences of a young man. For sure, because this, this was me back in the day. This is funny. The card that passed me was actually the BMW of yours. Obsessive, or rather overly passionate to no remorse for my own well-being. <laughs> that part of me shows in every avenue that I take place in. Whether it be the music will never say if I can't make it. Uh, mm. I'll make waves even if God ain't takes it from happening. <laughs> Will they say I'm trapped again? Or have you set me free? The shackles of failure with deeper connections polluted me. Wow. Man, this is deep, man. Like, he's, he's getting pretty deep here. Will I say... Will they say I'm trapped again or have you set me free? You know, like, I'm, I'm assuming he's talking about, you know, his um his friends, his his acquaintances. Um, You know, you, you, you get a new girl, you know, and you're, you're trapped. Are you trapped in this relationship with this, this woman? Or is she actually empowering you to be free and to be who you truly are? You know, that's, um, like I said, if, if you have a good, solid relationship that is based on trust and, and honesty um, and faithfulness, it's freeing. It is absolutely freeing, okay? Make waves even if God ain't takes it from happening. Will they say I'm trapped again or have you set me free? The shackles of failure with deeper connections polluted me. In the uh. forest of love, I'm an only tree. <laughs> when next to me, you bloomed out of the blue. I couldn't believe it. Into the universe, I pleaded. Let my branches shelter the hope of all growth as one. But wow, that, that symbolism right there is awesome. Awesome. In the forest of love, he's an only tree. So there's no other trees around him. He is kind of standing alone. And as this tree... All right, he is looking around and he sees nothing around him. All right, he is isolated and alone. And then there's uh, below him is a bloom. Okay, it's a flower, another plant, whatever, another tree even. And he's hoping that the branches can can shelter this bloom and allow it to develop and grow into something much bigger. You know, that's. Uh, that's awesome. It's it's like it's like you know it's like um, young love, new love being incubated, and and nurtured along, and you're just trying to be health healthy and have it grow, you know, as it's supposed to. That's that's deep, man. That's that's awesome. Into the universe I pleaded, let my branches shelter the hope of all growth as one. But if not, I won't wither away until I achieve it. Huh. I reside inside the resonance of your love. You resurrect my resting soul, you shining from above. I resume to consume the fumes you left on my clothes. Huh. The residue of your smells spiraling me through the modes of resolution <laughs> and a little confusion. To what length will I be willing to pursue someone who removes so much of my strength? As I witness my own movements change for the better. Yep. Waiting yep. Waiting for the weather. Insane as a tether. My own movements change for the better. All right. So, you know, like I said, and this is all assuming that it's a healthy relationship with somebody. Your own movements will change for the better. You'll start making moves that, you know aren't just based in your own self-interest, but in the self-interest uh, or of the interest of another person as well. So you're taking into account, you know, what you need and what this other person needs. And it's, it, it allows you to be kind of selfless in that way. And that's, uh, you know, it, it will, it'll absolutely make you a better person when, when your mind is not just on you and your own personal needs, when you actually consider other people, you know, this is, this is awesome. This is an awesome song. My own movements change for the better. Waiting for the weather. Insane as a tether. In this life that we live, we abide by the bitter. We alive, but we dead, but drinking wine, drinking gin. Oh, seven <laughs> times to witness some jack and lime in the split. Will you be Ooh. fine with my gift? Ooh. The list of things <laughs> I'd like to tell you are more scribbled than a penitentiary cell wall. With each wow. day passing, I cross another line, and each bar I hold, limiting the jail call. Cause now I just sit on the corner of my bunk Writing songs for the world to call my bluff <laughs> These passages are my ultimate confession to you So I hope at least that oh, Hold on Cause now I just sit in the corner of my bunk Writing songs for the world to call my bluff Then what does he say? Hold on Bluff 
These passages are my ultimate confession to you. These passages are my ultimate confession to you. All right, so he's like, hey, I'm writing this stuff on a bunk, you know, waiting for the world to call my bluff, call me out on on the things that I'm writing, you know, and then, but the passages I am writing are me opening myself to this other person, you know, that's, this is fantastic. This is, a, this is a totally different side of this guy, totally different side. I did not expect him to come with this type of song, you know, it's deep, first of all, okay, and, and as for a, you know, a love song, it's not overly mushy, okay, which I appreciate. Um, and and it's, a like I said, completely different style than anything I've heard from him. I haven't heard much from him. I've only heard a few songs or whatever. But uh, from what I've heard, th this was not what I would have expected coming from him. And it's fantastic. It is absolutely fantastic. Minting the jail call. Because now I just sit on the corner of my bunk writing songs for the world to call my bluff. These passages are my ultimate confession to you. So I hope at least that seven songs are enough. <laughs> I reside inside the resonance of your love. You resurrect my resting soul. You shining from above. I resume to consume the fumes you left on my clothes. The residue of your smells by will let me through the modes of resolution and a little confusion. To what length will I be willing to pursue someone who removes so much of my resistance? Huh. <laughs> Who removes so much of my resistance? Yeah, how he ends it. That's phenomenal. All right. Because he, he wanted, as a young man, he wanted to resist being vulnerable to somebody. All right. Being weak to somebody, opening himself up to another person. All right. And allowing his emotions to, to be raw and out there. You know, and he has resisted that. And this woman is just tearing down all of his walls. It's, it's fantastic. This song was fantastic. I really enjoyed it. Like I said, it's a completely different side of the guy than that what I have seen and heard from him. And um shows his versatility. Absolutely. The, the acoustic guitar and the drums and everything is just very simple. Uh, you know, it wasn't overly processed or anything. It was just the actual instruments. And it was awesome. This song was awesome. I love this. But uh, I guess that'll do it, though. That'll be the reaction. Uh, Middle-aged white guy is out. Peace.